What's up everyone, this is Tam and I am here with Andy and we're gonna be talking about uh, this little game that just dropped this week, oh, Mortal Kombat God. X. Yeah, so, so you like the game, I'm guessing? I really enjoy it, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, let's start with the presentation, how the game actually looks. So what's your impression on that? Well, it's the first game from NetherRealm on next-gen hardware mm. and it definitely looks it. Characters are really detailed. I like that each of the variations like look visibly different. Like there's little things like Quan Chi, his different spikes, different parts of him glow a different color versus say Scorpion sometimes has swords on his back or parts of him are on fire. Johnny Cage like, gets green glasses. I love the green glasses. Yeah. And all of Johnny Cage looks great. It <laughs> looks really, really good. They do a good job of the new characters, I feel like. Um, some people have been ragging on like a sort of minimalist look to some characters like Jackie Briggs. Yeah, I can definitely, because there's a lot of like just straight up military people but on the roster. But they're in the military, so they don't mind as much. Yeah, so for every yeah. one of those, we get a really cool Mayan looking Kotal Khan or Devora with like the best look. Where, I think like, Devora is the best looking new character. Like the bug thing's really easy to do, I feel like, and they do it with a very different, interesting look to it. I especially love the whole wasp yeah. thing I think she does. Um, and it looks really great, environments are really good, and you can interact with them a bunch. Um, it kind of reminds me a bunch of Injustice, their last game, obviously. But it definitely feels more MK, like violent and visceral, especially. It's funny you say that because mm -hmm. I've always thought of NRS as not very visually impressive when it came to their games. Like, I, I've always thought their animations looked kind of jank mm -hmm. and uh, the visuals always looked a little muddy. But then I was playing this game on the uh, PS4 mm -hmm. and it looks great. Like, after a fight, you can see there's like visible sweat and dirt and blood on your yeah. characters. I know um, sweat a lot more though for some reason. Yeah. Like, a lot of time I'd be fighting and they just have like this very shiny look and they'll yeah. be like a military base. And, like, you can see like their, the pores on their skin and everything, it's great. Mm -hmm. It looks absolutely gorgeous and it yeah. runs um, very smooth, although mm -hmm. uh, during cutscenes, of course, uh, the game runs at 30 FPS, which does, isn't really a concern. But the cutscenes still look great. The cutscenes still look great, and the fatalities gives, all yeah. look great, yeah. I like the brutalities, which is mm -hmm. definitely bring that like level of like sort of movie level violence and cinematic feel from the fatalities into just straight up fighting. Uh, it feels like the old fatalities from like MK1 through 3 where a little bit, yeah. it didn't have all the wacky camera angles and everything. It yeah. was just, you know, chop the guy's head off and you're done. <laughs> yeah, there's always a lot of decapitation just of the head in this game, but still pretty right, good. So uh, yeah. let's talk about the story mode okay. for a bit, because that's always been a big part of, um, since MK9, the, uh, or I'd say since DC versus uh, MK. We don't talk about that game. <laughs> we don't talk about the game, but yeah, since 9, it was a big deal. It's always been a big deal, yeah. Especially with how they changed a lot of the lore, which even though it was a fighting game, Mortal Kombat had a lot more lore versus say Street Fighter or Tekken or what have you. Mm -hmm. So coming into this game, a lot of things have changed, a lot of characters roles are different. I I did you beat the story? I know I finished I've, it. I've I've um haven't played it but I've seen through mm -hmm. all of it multiple times. So. Okay. Well I think they really did a great job with this. It mm -hmm. feels a bit weird at points because they definitely focus on aspects of things like family and forgiveness and for certain characters yeah. like the cages and scorpion is a big example and not many that. characters die because mk9 like pretty much everyone dies well i'd say major care at least major characters die and the good thing they do is i like the cast in the game because they mm -hmm. have a bunch of great new blood like we just mentioned devora the four you know main young heroes and a bunch of like order heroes come mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. but for people who died which includes a bunch of you know I'd call them just basically henchmen. The, like the Revenant. Lower the Revenant. Well, the yeah. Revenant, but I'm saying like lower tier characters from MK9 who oh, are yeah. just there to be beat up. Like mm -hmm. Shiva, Baraka, Cabal, they all come back in the story, but you don't have like a character slot devoted to them so they can just be the henchmen that you fight from time to time, which That's I right. like. It makes us like focus more on both the newer characters and the new aspects of old characters. Like again, Scorpions of Zero have a lot going on in the story, which I really appreciate. I enjoyed how fan service how much fan service was it with all the guest characters like Bo when mm -hmm. i saw bo rai cho well bo rai cho uh showed up in the story trailer but it was pretty weird when like i actually was, saw him in the story yeah. i was just i was really hyped because bo rai cho is so was cool like, even if he was super skinny though for being like the drunkard he, he's on he's on a diet don't worry about guess, it. Yeah. um but yeah there's yeah. A, there's a couple really big other um mm -hmm. guest characters that i won't spoil for anyone who hasn't uh, yeah. watched or played the story yet but mm -hmm. there's some pretty cool cameos and yeah. it got me really excited for like you know the DLC possibilities. Yeah, but, and that also may you know, have more incentive to play story mode because mm -hmm. you won't be able to play them outside the cutscenes. Well, actually some PC players may be able to like mod it sort of, so you can mm -hmm. still kind of play them, but officially you can't play as characters like Baraka and Cabal and other people I'm not gonna say. Well, okay, so let's mm -hmm. jump into the meat and potatoes here with okay. the gameplay. Meat and right? potatoes. So um, I'll start with my first impression of the okay. gameplay. I thought it, it feels like the least accessible Mortal Kombat for beginners. Mm -hmm but at the same time, it makes it the best Mortal Kombat 
in like its 20 plus history, mm -hmm. and I think. Um, now, I tried to get into M I've never been a big uh, Mortal Kombat player. I've always stuck with um, the Capcom fighters and Street Fighter. Mm -hmm. And I tried getting into Mortal Kombat 9, and I couldn't quite do it. But mm -hmm. Mortal Kombat X, I feel like I'm 100% in, just because of how well it controls. Um, the fact that they give you three variations for each character yeah. isn't really something that you see in any fighting game ever. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was a nice, unique twist on, you know, the um, character matchups and, you know, oh, your character can't zone? Well, now they can in this variation, yeah. you know? It feels great. Mm -hmm. What do you think about it? See, I definitely like all that stuff. Um, I actually feel it's more accessible, to be honest, because yeah. we now live in a generation where, like, we get fighting games like this, but we've also gotten stuff like Killer Instinct. Killer Instinct is very much, you learn the game and you get good at the game, or you lose and you don't have fun. Because mm -hmm. it's very, like, deep and hard to get, like, truly master and, like, enjoy. Mm -hmm. This game is a lot more open, I, I gotta, like, be honest. Like, the variations definitely change things up a bit, but I like that they keep certain special moves for all variations. For instance, Scorpion can always do these spear throws, or he always throws ice balls. So with that in mind, it's easier to like get a base understanding of a character and then like specialize in certain variations. I love the variations. If there is one issue, it's that certain characters get variations that don't quite work for me. Yeah, um, my, my main mm -hmm. one is uh, I main Cassie Cage in this game, mm -hmm. and I mainly use her brawler variation. Yeah, and um, I'll occasionally go to Hollywood if I want to do some vortex sh shenanigans. Right. But I have never touched her spec ops because I feel like mm -hmm. her playstyle doesn't really, um, you know, loan itself well with like a zoning style yeah. variation. Which is understandable, you know, because mm -hmm. she's like really up close and personal and has a lot of good short range normals. Yeah. For the same reason I don't like Sonya, because Sonya has that same like up close personal thing going on, but there's one, I forget what it's called, but it's one variation where she focuses on using grenades and like a little drone comes in and keeps resupplying her, but you'll use your three grenades and then you'll just spend your time hopping around trying to get away from the other character to then reload and then get back to the See, fight. See, but that's the great thing, because maybe you don't like playing Sonya as a mm -hmm. keep away character, but another player might like Sonya. Well, yeah. So that's like that's the that's how um, gen ingenious it was mm -hmm. for the three variations because everyone. I'm not everyone... saying it's bad. I'm yeah, just yeah. saying like it sometimes doesn't work with the character, and sometimes it will be like you'll have your special moves and your normal moves, and mm -hmm. that'll be one kind of play style. But for the variation, we're going to change up a bit and try and focus on just these couple moves we'll mm -hmm. give them for like something different. I do feel like um, they made it a little bit harder to uh, pull off combos in this game too compared to bit. MK9 because yeah. the, the uh, cancel window for special moves out of normal attacks mm -hmm. seems a bit tighter than it was in MK9. And yeah. now, it, granted, um, they do provide you with a lot of frame data in the training mode, which, mm -hmm. uh, the training mode. The training mode <laughs> I think the really training mode is the best training right. mode in it's a fighting game It's super good ever. and detailed. Mm -hmm. They, another reason I think it's really accessible for players is because they have a great training mode. I love they brought back the Injustice thing where if you pause the game in a versus match, all your special moves are shown there with inputs. That's simple, I like it. I like that it's accessible even with fatalities, which have been like, I love fatalities, I just can't pull them off all the time, but getting like a token to go here. Just have an easy fatality because we know you want to see it. It's awesome, and even a tutorial mode for that is even better. We'll make it easy for you, you idiot. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit of that, but like, Somewhat that, but somewhat just, hey, we know what you came for, but you're not the biggest fighting game fan, right. so if you're just over at a friend's house and you're like, hey, just, you know, cut my head off, do the cool Kung Lao thing. Whatever. All right, so let's Boom. talk Let's talk online. I know you've okay. had some uh, pretty good experiences. Well, we it? need to talk about how it's different consoles at least, yeah, because yeah. I'm on the one, and the one's had no issues with and online I've, at all. And I've played the PS4 and some of the PC, mm -hmm. though the, P, the, the PC was kind of borked at launch. Yeah. Um, people were having issues. some big issues with stability and mm -hmm. things like that on the PC, yeah. so I didn't really touch that one much. But on okay. the PS4, um, you get the netcode is, I'd say, the same as Injustice in that it's functional. Yeah. It's nothing to write home about, but it's functional. Mm -hmm. I played Injustice on the PS3, I had some issues, mm -hmm. but it did work all the time at least. Like, yeah. it never slows down to the fact that you're just like, what's going on and just you're totally bored. But, Fatality. You know, it's really bad, yeah. Uh, but um, it, I've, had, I've had like really good matches that um, run mm -hmm. pretty much seamlessly, and I have other matches where there's at least a uh, one and a half second delay, which is yeah. pretty awful for a game that requires so much precision. Yeah. I mean, again, it, it's gonna get patched, it'll probably get fixed, mm -hmm. but right now it's an issue. But like, I'm not gonna hold it majorly against Long the game. Long term, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, how do you feel about all the stuff with the different factions? The factions, I love. I absolutely mm -hmm. love the factions. Um, mostly because, so I 
um, joined with the Ling Kuei. Same. <laughs> which seems like what everyone's doing, which yeah. I wish they could make the other side seem a bit more. Yeah, the first invasion just seemed kind of lopsided. <laughs> <laughs> it <laughs> but was really bad. I, I chose Ling Kuei because um, I knew there was a smoke fatality. Yeah. And smoke was my favorite character in Mortal Kombat 9. Uh, mm -hmm. God rest his soul in the MKX because he's, he's not around. He's in the story. You he's can a, see him a bunch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you see him a couple times, but he doesn't really have a big role, which is unfortunate. Do you know call him smoke? They call him an <laughs> or something? Yeah. The, the, but the faction kill. Mm -hmm. I think are the main reason to join a faction. Yeah. Because even if they took out all like the the hooky faction wars and yeah. all like the invasions and stuff, I would still love them for the faction kills because it's just like another type of fatality to think about. A, fa mm. a factionality. Factionality. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I don't mind that actually. Yeah. Uh, like I like them because they're not really like as flashy as fatalities, mm -hmm. but they're still just as cinematic. Yeah. So it's like a nice quick way to end the match without you know, you know elongating it. Yeah. I mean, I guess, like, my big thing with it is, like, the reason I like it so much is it doesn't intrude on the main, like, actual one-on-one -on -one fighting online experience or whatever, but just, like, the new living towers and the new, like, they have different daily and hourly things going on, whatever, is to make it, like, new and different feeling every single time or have some little mini thing in your mind, like, I want to try and do this or whatever, and just, I don't know, it adds, like, a good bit of replay value to the game, and I'm mm -hmm. curious to see where they go with it along the, like, you know... Further down the line, once all the DLC characters are come out, and yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. okay. So let's end this with um, your recommendation. Would you recommend <laughs> buy it, try it, or fry it? Oh well, we talked about how it's kind of has that accessibility thing to it. So mm -hmm. I would honestly say buy it if you're definitely a fan of fighting games and you know, you know, you're good at, you're in the mood to get, you know, familiar with these new characters and systems and combos and all that stuff. Definitely buy it. Mm -hmm. If you want to jump in on fighting games, like really jump in on them, this would be the game to do it. Because mm -hmm. I think it adds enough accessibility and like helpful tutorials and like, you know, it helps ease in new players into this so well that they soon can become, maybe not masters, but like we become like really good at it too and have a good fighting chance. Yeah. And even if you're totally new at it, like new players can have just as much fun and there's tons of stuff to do. And I think just one of the best next gen fighting games I've played in the longest time. Yeah, so I'm going to definitely buy it. I'm going to echo some of what you said, okay. but with a little, a slight little variation. Um, <laughs> my three <laughs> variations of this review. Nah. Um, but I would recommend buy it definitely if you're a fan of fighting games and Mortal Kombat. Uh, definitely go 100% into this game. But if you're new to fighting games, I'd say try it. Just because, like I mentioned, this was my opinion, so, mm. and you obviously disagreed I'm, with I'm it. I'm showing up, you can but, it <laughs> but I think, you know, try it if you're new to fighting games, because I think it is slightly harder to get into than um, other NRS games. Like, it's a little less uh, casual friendly. Okay. I guess that's the word I was looking for. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that's all for our review discussion. So, Mortal Kombat X is out now on the Xbox One, PS4, and PC. So, you have our recommendation, so it's up to you. Yeah.